can start with the sort of history of the project from Bandung to Berlin because it's actually a open and long-term platform for collaboration which started in 2014 where I had my residency in Paris in Google Cultural Institute and I initiated a website called From Bandung to Berlin to investigate Uh, the spatial temporal distance between Bandung 1955 and um, Berlin 1989 because I'm interested with how different social coordinates emerge from um, different parts of the world while what we know about the history of Cold War was actually always in the Euro-American uh, horizon. And um, at In 2014, that was the time when I first um, have connection with Renan. Um, we, the project then invited um, several artists, curators, and researchers from Asia, It's from Indonesia, Singapore, um, Philippines, China, and yeah, we cre- we tried to create it a speculative and fictional narratives in order to open up new histories of Cold War in Asia because um, a lot of things that happened in Asia at that time are um, not properly represented. Since then, the project um, evolves into different kinds of socialization. I think it was crucial for us to identify this Um, iteration is a curatorial period mm-hmm. and um, and therefore we were thinking about uh, modes of presenting or modes of display um, with an idea that we didn't really want to to make a a regional exhibition or we we don't want to make a historical exhibition or in a way some sort of an essay exhibition so we 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 committed to the idea that it, it is a displaced research scenography, mm-hmm. in which uh, one of the one of the one of the many factors in terms of selecting the artists and and the archives is to look into artists that are not just you know uh, talking about the issues that we wanted to to present, but also doing a lot of research around this. So this kind of dense um, contributions into this so-called uh, displaced research uh, scenography. Another idea is uh, how do we move from 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 the flowchart, I guess. So mm-hmm. we always work with flowchart. Uh, for the past two exhibitions, we presented the flowchart. And then um, we thought that it might be more interesting to to add um, three amplitudes into this um, margin. So it, it seems like this we're we're sort of fixated in the 1955 and 1989 Bandung conference. So we wanted to to put three other coordinates within these, um, namely the. The Marshall Plan in 1946, the um, the Southeast Asian Treaty Organization, and then the um, construction of uh, um, domestic satellite system in in Indonesia, and then from that um, we wanted to to have artist contributions that would also challenge the let's call it ideological position, I guess, or the multiple ideological positions that. From Bandung to Berlin presents. So, key the working with artists here or is really key into this uh, sort of uh, trying to realize this uh, displaced research scenography. 
So it was also crucial for us to place the discursive events actually and um, the artistic works on the same plane. And I'm not sure how successful we are in that in that sense, primarily because uh, we're also responding to certain to certain audience aside from you know material resources. You can see in the exhibition, we still try to work with the flowchart, but in different way in which we put it, um, um, abs uh, the form of the flowchart are abstracted in the floor, and artworks um, that are pop up in in this in this gallery space and all the discursive events are creating connection, but also disconnection. To, 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 the, to the way we think about the flowchart. So it's not only the content of the flowchart, but also the way we think about flowchart as um, a speculation mm -hmm. rather than a journey from one end to the other end. When we decided to, to present Urui An as the first performance, it was exactly because of this reason of um, thinking about um, sweating. You know, and we're very much inspired with um, Urui An's Solar and Meltdown uh, because it it really talks about this kind of connection of the museological and this possible and, and and this idea of coming from behind. Um, mm -hmm. Is it actually possible to 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 come from behind and actually see this this exhibition in in a way that it's not informational? It's not a way of you know uh, talking about just a region or, or a timeline in, in history. Exhibition. What we do is we open the gallery with only archives and one video work from Firlani Rupini. After that, the next three days, the, the three days events after the opening are somehow accumulating um, knowledge, ideas, but also sweats through bodies by collecting people and encountering conversations. So the, I, the idea of From Bandung to Berlin as a long-term project uh, is still there and the spatial temporality between 55 and 89 are not close mm -hmm. just between that, that historical moments but really actually beyond it. And I think the, the exhibition From Bandung to Berlin, If All of the Moons Align, really starts with this kind of performance of, of weakness, um, but not essentializing weakness. Uh, this kind of notion that there's a good exhibition and there's a tight exhibition according to, to the selection of works, according to the selection of your uh, panel for um, public events. So what's interesting for us is that uh, because it also it's also parallel to one amplitude that we're looking into, which is the, the Marshall Plan, where, where it's a U.S. Uh, program where they, they funneled funds in, in uh, Western Europe um, after World War II. So that question of how can you recuperate from that position of weakness. Yeah. Um, and then what's, what's the experience actually within the exhibition space where you you start with almost nothing. And then, what does it actually mean to see the works in progression? Um, and 
what's the difference from from seeing the works um, from that opening until the the opening the the exhibition closes with this notion of complete, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. 